Dude, sick on it, bro. Well, it's a fucking Acura, first of all. There you go. Got them both in the shot. Wow. Well, Don't film that piece of shit. What one? Mine. <laughs> oh, that one? Yeah. Sorry. I won't She's do that. Done. I won't do that anymore. Wow. Needs a bath. And turbos. Oh, yeah. You know what time it is. Time to drive a two valve, which means. Go to the speed limit and hope it makes it to the destination. Two valve life, baby. Woo woo! Step one is actually bringing the car out. We completed step one, kind of. I'm already contemplating going, going home and bringing it back. It's because I hate driving around so much, but whatever. It's fun. I enjoy it. But something's got to go. And... I think that fuel tank might be in the way of something. I don't know if you guys know what I could possibly be talking about if the fuel tank's in the way. Where am I gonna put the fuel tank? Hint, hint, hint. Yep. Maybe in the trunk. Put a fuel cell in the trunk. But why would you need to do that? Uh. What would that be in the way of? Well, I'm having kids. Are you gonna strap them under the car? I'm having twins. <laughs> They'll be a proud father of and twins. The car sounds so good, and I always get compliments on how good the car sounds. So I can't go and put manifolds or normal ish manifolds on here. <clears throat> so I have to keep my long tubes. So what could that possibly mean, guys? You can't figure it out, you're an idiot. Uh, honestly. That's I, I, I've said I wanted to boost this car. <laughs> and, just gave it away. and I've also said I wanted to super, you know, supercharge it with a boost, but that's still a you know possibility. So that would mean I wouldn't actually need a new fuel cell. I mean, that still would be cool to be honest, but yeah. it's not necess you know, necessary. So maybe twin turbos in the rear, some rear mount twin turbos. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? I was talking to a buddy of mine, 
and we came up with that idea of rear mount turbo a two valve now i have seen like one maybe two rear mount turbo two valves on youtube at least uh i forgot the youtube channel's name but i don't know i think it would be different if i did that and it would bring definitely bring some new content and it would be something that um i would assume a lot of people would be interested in whether or not you agree with it or not it'd still be pretty cool to see so maybe just maybe we'll do rear mount twins i don't want to do single because I mean, i guess i could still technically rig up dual exhaust but i want to keep dual exhaust and i feel like it'd be easier if i had twin turbos to do dual exhaust i still want it to exit out of the bumper just mainly because the gt bumper has the the uh spots for tail two tailpipes so that'd be cool and with that fuel tank being removed you'll be able to see a little bit of the turbos peeking out at you from behind because i mean you're only going to see it from behind anyways so that would be really cool and it would sound probably ridiculous to be honest and i don't know what size um my buddy told me to do big ones but i don't know if that would be practical just because one it is rear mount two you know big turbos it's harder to spool those so maybe you know it's two decent sized you know be conservative with it turbos and uh see what kind of horsepower i can make on a stock bottom end 4.6 liter yeah so I, I, yeah there'll be so much room it, fitting it won't be a problem to be honest um and i've also read online you don't necessarily if you run rear mount you don't necessarily need an intercooler just because it would be in the rear and it wouldn't be it drawing engine heat but I, I still i think i want to do an intercooler run the piping all the way back up to the front and since i do have the terminator bumper it would you know it would look good in there just because it's a terminator bumper and those generally have intercoolers so i think that would look good what do you think yeah just and, imagine just get a shot of this and just imagine big ass intercooler in there especially with the wiggle and everything yeah it'd be right in there yeah you have to yeah that'd be cool and then you know obviously i'll be doing all the fabrication myself so that would help with cost and i'm hoping the reason why it's a big possibility is it would it would probably actually be cheaper than buying a new vortex yeah, you know i don't know exactly how much money it will, it'll be i'll have to price everything once i start shopping i guess yeah. But especially, I mean, all you're buying is turbos. Turbos. I mean, yeah, literally tool, turbo and uh, intercooler yeah. are the only things you can't pad yourself. Right. Other than that, it's just piping. Yeah, and wastegate. That's it. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A little stuff like that. Wastegate, blow up valve. Yeah. Like and I, I don't know if I would need two wastegates. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are, if any of you guys are watching this, know a lot about that. I really don't, to be honest. So this will be a warning process for me and like i said if anything anything happens to this engine it's just you know whatever shit happens i'll get something else i'll get a new engine but it'll still be a 4.6 well two valve at least maybe a a built short block stroker 5.0 or just a 4.6 even then they're both they can hold decent power and i don't know and get it tuned and see what it makes but i'd like to see what a stock engine can hold not trying to max it out i say when you get the motor then turn it up yeah and just see what it'll do yeah yeah before you before you swap it like get everything get it all set up and then yeah before you swap it in just see what it'll do just crank yeah. it up but for a while at least for a while at least i would like to keep it conservative and kind of save my money for a little bit just run that setup and the stock bottom end maybe i honestly would be happy with like 400 to the wheels which is weighs 3200 pounds it would be a quick car with four tens sounds good you know it, that's really all it is for me i like to drive it i don't want to ruin the drivability of it too much so and that's what happens when you start you know doing some heavy mods it, it just ruins the drivability of it so i don't know guys let me know what you guys think 
I think it'd be pretty sweet. Uh, hello? Dude, nobody's in there. I think so. Hello? <laughs> Dude, where is everybody? Pickles? No, not fried pickles. I had those last night. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I don't know. Tires. 